Welcome in, everybody. I am Disinger, Lord of Sloth, Friday Cast, Stream of the Deals of Metrovania, Rogue Like Souls, Born, so you name it, I play it. We're getting down on more Persona 5 today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough. We're doing our we're doing our school trip. Mementos took a little longer yesterday, so unfortunately we didn't get to play. We didn't get to do the school trip, so we're just gonna do the school trip real quick. So let's swap over. Welcome on in, guys. Let's do this. Uh, I can't do Maruki yet. I can do Futaba. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's check the trophies and see what I have left. Oh, I need to go visit one of the shrines. Okay, so let's go visit... I think I need the one in Kichijoji. I need to do the jazz club and I need to do the... I need to do the jazz club and I need to do the shrine. So let's get those out of the way. Okay, so wrong temple. So I do need Meiji Shrine. What do you want to do? Let's pray for strong bonds. Hey, hey. Thousand yen. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll push Sojuro. Oh yeah. Bow twice, clap twice, then bow once. Maybe I shouldn't ask. It won't work if you tell something. Anyway, let's head home. Okay, so we prayed. We got that part done. Hey. Okay. Morning. This is not helping you. Why do you do this to yourself? Hi. I can up Sojuro now. We can do that tomorrow. It's still Monday, so I have one more day. But they might lock me into stuff. I can do the Jazz Club later. Let's up Sojuro now. Nice! Angelic Kind. Okay, so I need Angelic Kindness to be able to do him. I'm at the point I have to max out my kindness. So let's go to the Jazz Club. I'm doing alright. I've been really tired, but otherwise okay. Not a bad idea. Is the my team? Oh. Singer's coming in. Uh, team members you invite to the Jazz Cup will have their persona strengthened as well as receiving other helpful effects. The special cocktails serve also the effects will be doubled if it's a weekday. What do you want to do? Let's invite... I need to get Yusuke up. Yep. 
Protag's like 16, I want to say. Muhin, I'm the manager of this jazz club. I'll welcome any friend of a Kitchikoon's here. But just as the sign says, I can't serve alcohol to high schoolers. Sorry, but you'll have to make do with non-alcoholic drinks. But hey, the drinks taste just as good. Thanks for coming in. Take that. Can sit down anywhere that's open. That said, try not to be disruptive, all right? Oh, Do this place this? looks interesting. Not bad at all. I feel it. I feel the inspiration flowing in me. I'm not going to be sleeping tonight. Indeed. The voice that sways the soul. Art truly is something that must be experienced in person. I can feel my heart tremble. I knew he'd love this. Because jazz is like one of the most artistic forms of music out there. I should have known. Even when I ask a woman who catches my eye, I find their soul does not hold the same beauty. Many have mistakenly thought I was hitting on them. It's quite a struggle to clear up that misunderstanding, but the most complicated situations arise when they ask to be friends. I have no time to spare on anything besides art. I enjoyed that. Talking for quite some time, perhaps it's due to the atmosphere of this place. Conversing with a friend and reflecting upon myself, I don't dislike this feeling. Uh -huh. That's it. All right. Max H. King. Oh, thank God. Thank you. That was an evening well spent. See you later. Okay, so there's the night in Kichijoji. I need to be able to order off the special menu. That's what I'm going to be working on after I finish the next palace. I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. I need it's I need exhausting. credit for a shrine, and I need credit for the maids, and I have to go fishing. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays. Are you interested in them too? Of course. I don't blame you. Everyone's paying attention to it. Yeah. Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval. <laughs> he is so pissed right now. <laughs> like, you can hear it in his voice. He's barely holding it together. Before I knew it, I turned into a bona fide villain. He is so mad right now. Still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. Well, talking anymore will make us late see you later that is the sound of a raging akechi maybe if they targeted me i'd be able to figure it out oh well we should stop talking we'll be late for school i have a feeling what's this Oh, nice. Okay, what's that? What's that? Okay, cool. Okay. Come to the sticker, right? There's so much Phantom Thieves merchandise all of a sudden. But if you ask me, Phantom Thieves isn't a very cool name. I do know, I like it. It's mysterious. If you think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get to change heart, I just want to meet him. Okay, let's get started. I always get so excited the night before a trip. So, I'll, it'll be morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Hawaii's time is 19 hours behind Japan's time zone, which means you'll get there on the morning of the 7th. You're leaving at night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th, that might be quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can become distorted. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for longer than a second? How about you? Say, singer coon. Do you know the name of the phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stopped moving? I want to say chronostasis. This is it. Right. Yep. You see, when a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes in. There's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their head. 
In order to fill that blank, the blank experience, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where the phenomenon comes from. The brain, the human brain, really is incredible, right? You can, it can make you feel like time has stopped. Got it right. Is he really a criminal? He seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. Nice going. Keep it going. Well, see you. Have fun. Don't worry about the house. Oh, well, me and Futaba can hold down the fort. Yeah, that's a five in charm. We're suave. Yeah, we would. Should be fun. You know you're not leaving till tomorrow night, right? Hey, for real? Enough of the chit chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. You got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in LA? There's tons. Hollywood it has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip to prove quite stimulating. Yeah, we're slaying, all right. Near LA as well, you know. Huh? It's close to the ocean? Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle of somewhere. Oh, no, 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 Ryuji. That is not the capital of America. What about Hawaii? Do know some ocean, I guess. You're hopeless. How long are you going to keep this up? Can't do Maruki yet, can't do Takemi yet. Oh, and the anthem is Country Roads? Well, I don't know, I'm kind of, I've kind of... Kind of partial to the Star Spangled Banner, but I, I understand. Hi there. Hey. Any questions? Anything I should know? Fried food shop in the promenade. People say it's tedious to wait in line, and by nighttime it's already sold out. Sundays. Um. Come again. Oh, oh my, I see intense emotions rolling in your eyes. Passion is not always dangerous, only if one knows how to calm one's heart. Solitude here. Maybe you'll attain enlightenment mm. and peace. Mm. Okay, you can meditate, increase max HP, check your schedule, and use the temple diligently. What do you want to do? Let's calm the heart. Okay. Take your time and relax. Okay, so that's what I was missing about this. Wow. Ah. Kinda look like shadows. Maybe I'll drag my claws over them. Ha <laughs> ha, you're getting off lucky today. Hey! Stop ignoring me. Hey! Are you listening? Say, did I close the window in my room? <sighs> Are you freaking out, or were you actually concentrating? Still getting distracted by idle thoughts. Hmm. Especially on your face changed a bit, though. Is your mind a bit more composed now? That should be it. All right. Yeah, max SPs by three. Want to head back? Awesome. We will we'll be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? A-okay. Then off we go. Look. 
after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. <sighs> Talking about that trip? Well, yeah. Okay, I'm not allowed to leave the area. Come on! Yes. No. It's nothing. Just go to sleep. Hey. Uh, never mind. Have fun on your trip. Yeah, let's sleep. It's gonna be a bunch of social stuff. Like, there's nothing that's gonna get me killed. But... Yeah, this is just going to underline that Morgana is not happy. You're taking off, huh? <laughs> Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. Oh, you get tad and fat. We'll talk yeah. more about our next job once you get back. Can't wait. Good. Yeah. Morgana, it, it's been steadily going downhill since Futaba joined the group. I'm so sleepy. And it just... It's... It's... Basically, what happens when all of Morgana's like writing on Ryuji starts going the other way? Morgana can dish it out, but she can't take it. So Ryuji's sitting there and poking the bear because she was relentlessly on top of him meant that Ryuji pissed her off, and she's not dealing with it, and she's just feeling more and more useless. It'll take over six hours to get there, so. Why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me or is Ryuji not here yet? Uh, I keep messing it up because v Morgana sounds feminine, but no, Mor Morgana's a guy. He says very blatantly, I'm a dude! Ah. Oh. I keep messing it up. I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. Uh, coming late even on a day like this? That's all you're bringing? Yeah. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? It'll be fun either way. Yeah, that! Well, I guess so. Hey, guys. They want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Ooh, sounds good. And then Yusuke. You be our cameraman, okay? Okay. Let me join in too. So three you days, too, that'll be the other side. Okay. All right. Here goes. Uh huh. Uh, where am I supposed to look? Let me see. Let me see. That actually doesn't look half bad. Got crap in your eyes. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? You surprised? I snuck a nap on Dis's phone. I can see all I want through his camera. You look in you're looking now, right, Dis? Wahahaha, <laughs> you can't underestimate us underestimate the original Majed. Are you excited? I'm so glad she's not an enemy of ours. I'm glad. Gosh. May I have some iced coffee? Coming right up. You wanted to sleep on the plane. Don't drink an iced coffee. Please return to 
return to your seats and ensure that your seat belts are safe. Whoa! So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I have no idea though! <laughs> Five days. Five days, Ryuji. How could you forget this? Tropical air. Hi, Aloha. You can find your buses Whoa. that way. Damn, you speak Japanese? You are. Whoa, I see it. The diamond thing. Oh man, the ocean is so blue. <laughs> GG's, right? Yeah, they're usually diligent about putting out all the drinks and then waiting like an hour and then coming by and collecting them all. Or collecting them all in a half hour or 15 minutes. They usually wait until like 10 minutes before landing and then they'll do one last sweep I am so embarrassed oh, is this the smell of Hawaii actually I've been wondering since the airport but uh, what is this smell it's you supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner it's coconut scented yeah plus I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here what are you, the king of random facts? He really is. <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Then uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. <sighs> you belong to a different class, Sakama Tokun. I can't. It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out after all. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? And there you go. And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? She's popular, because her parents are worldwide fashion designers. That's why she got into modeling, was to try and connect with her parents. But her parents are always traveling abroad for different fashion shows and whatnot. She actually grew up in America, then moved to Japan, and she's been living in Japan since. We've never gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. An can speak English, but goddamn is she terrible at reading and writing it. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? That's fine. It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. Yeah. Who could write bourgeoisie? Yeah. So this is Waikiki. Oh, they're in Waikiki. Sure okay. People here. I was wondering if they were going to Honolulu or Maui. But they went ended up in Waikiki. And of tall buildings like hotels it's a little too clean here feels like an artificial resort Worcestershire still look how clear the ocean is the palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe too I thought on was pretty impressive but compared to the foreign ladies nah. then stop looking you think so too don't you like, these ladies are massive, unlike the girls in Japan. Not interested. I'm gonna rip out that tongue of yours! <laughs> Moving on. 
Take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus, too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? A F? It was clear, looked kind of diamondish, but wasn't actual diamond. Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's Hawaii-like? Uh, hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. Of course you are, Ryuji. We can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? Yeah. It's been really lively, huh? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, he's our web designer. Did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them, too? I mean, yeah. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, let's go to bed. Good night. Night. Our popularity is just constantly rocking up. Man. It's nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were going to be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, what's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but... I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. Maybe you should be a guidance counselor. That must have sucked. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving. It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. This is like, this is the most terrible high school in the world. They got the kids to Hawaii and then they were like, well, we got the kids to Hawaii. That's enough. Go enjoy Hawaii! You're taking kids to a whole different country. Hold on. Things are a little... Okay, there we go. You're taking kids to a whole other country, and you haven't planned the itinerary. Kids! You gotta put them under your thumb, or you're gonna have some legal trouble. Like, if you are taking a bunch of high schoolers to another country, you need to have everything planned out exactly, or you're going to have problems. You give them, like, maybe an hour or two in the afternoon for free time to go explore around, try American cuisine, try Hawaiian cuisine, you know, see a couple of areas nearby, sh souvenir shop, but that's it. And even then... You like go, okay, we're going to this area. You can go souvenir shopping, try out the cuisine and stuff. You got two hours to wander around and then we're going back. And uh, you have to be back here at this time. Like, y this boggles my mind. That 
lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. By the way, you're I did do a high school play. trip. How is it? Anything interesting? All fan site all the time. Even in Hawaii? Fan site. You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. Um, we've done aquariums. I've done museums. I've done, um, a trip down to Disneyland. We were supposed to play at Disneyland, but so many schools actually signed up for that day and it was overbooked and they all showed up. And so Disneyland was like, we're sorry. We know you were guys were supposed to play at Disneyland, but there's just too many. And so we're just going to call it off. Enjoy Disneyland. You really have no chill. Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to fix this. Yeah, right. We've got time to be relaxing over here. Ain't that right, you? Wait, what the hell? Yeah. Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What are you doing here? You you plan? It's the standard policy for planes and hotels. You overbook a little, planning on people canceling. Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Did you just bring rain wherever you go? Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? <laughs> Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? I'll do my best. By the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all going to do? See, that makes sense. Like, Yusuke's school having so much free time makes a lot more sense because they were originally supposed to go to L.A., but storms aren't allowing planes to land. Uh, oh yeah, I, I still gotta buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana, too. Yeah. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. Fish. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. Fish. Huh. I didn't realize Big Bang Burger was in Hawaii, too. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Yeah, you're right. They probably can't take food with them. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Is that true? I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. Okumura Foods. Yeah, I didn't put the pieces together before, but I guess we know him pretty well. Hmm? What's the matter? Oh, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. In the bird gear. So I double checked it, Ellis, and unfortunately you only get like the three points in all those stats the first time you clear the challenge. After that, it's just three points and guts from then on. So unfortunately, it wasn't the farm I was hoping for. It made, it made sense to do like a one-time bonus for, hey, you completed the challenge, but yeah. Yeah, that is fair. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Yeah, Ooh, definitely. Idea. Paying 500 paying 500 yen over and over and over again to max my stats, yeah. I'd do that in a heartbeat. 
I've still done it. I still ended up doing it a couple of times to try and help my guts because I need to max my guts out in order to finish out. Are you sure you don't want to be in it? <laughs> Thanks. I only ask that you ensure the composition is well balanced. Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. Well. That doesn't look half bad. Mm, we still have some time to spare, right? Where to next? There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? That sounds lovely. I don't think all five of us could fit in a selfie. We barely got the four of us in the first one. All right, let's head over there. Huh. Don't you think the food around here is kind of salty? You might be right. Oh, shoot. I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. I'll go with you. Yeah, if we did it sideways, but yeah. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. Is he going for more lobster? I'm so bored. By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? So crazy. Huh. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. But we are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea. Let's try asking around while we wait for Autumn Nakoto. Oh, I've heard of the fan themes. In fact, I'm a big fan. That's so awesome how they kick the bad guys' asses. I wonder how they steal hearts. Oh. Dude. It's crazy how many people know about us. This is freaking awesome. Oh, like the ones from Japan? Whoa. I read about them in a news article in recently. What a book. That's actually all I wanted to know. Thanks. Phantom Thieves? Never heard of them. Are you, you kids are from Japan, right? Are these Phantom Thieves special people like Samurai or Geisha? Hmm. I suppose that understanding isn't necessarily incorrect for someone from a foreign country. Huh? It's Haru! Ain't she kind of cute? Maybe we should ask her some questions, too. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? Are you a Shujin student? That's right. By the way, your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. Hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was asked to come chaperone this trip. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. That's Haru. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year, same as you, Makoto. Mm -hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. She saw the student body press. Oh, Kawakami. Oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Then again, we are on a trip, so... Might as well. Excuse me, Miss Kawakami. About the post-beach plans... <gasps> um, did I find you at a bad time? This is new, by the way. This didn't happen in the base version of the game. Not at all. What's the matter? What's up? <sighs> Found it. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much. All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. No, Morgana. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. 
Or for the you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? Let me go. You feel so nice. I do not. <laughs> so smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human. Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. That's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. You think that? You would think that. That's true. <sighs> she relented. Why are you upset? There are even more posts now. Oh, wow. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. We're on a trip, you know. Come on. You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Basically, he's following the American fast food business model. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. What's up? That's Ryuji. I recognize that anywhere. Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. It felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Is that Yusuke? That better not be Yusuke. Oh, on. The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. I know that feeling. And she took the key. I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjed case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. <gasps> what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down Medjed. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? Mm. Oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? More than likely. It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't I don't know if that's a good idea. Are you serious? Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa, one of us is going to have to sleep on the floor. So who's that going to be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? I mean, that's a novel idea. Shuffle the deck, whoever gets the low card. Yes! What? Mishima gets a bed, On gets a I'm bed. I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since But that. you wouldn't want to put a guy with a girl in the bed. This all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So? Yeah, it could still be two guys. Me? Because you can put uh, one on the you well, can put one on the sofa, one on one bed, and then two on the other. She's gotta have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice? Uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. So looks are what's most important to you. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. 
That ain't fair. What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? I really don't. You totally dodged the question. I did not. One second. Ugh. Starting to heat up in the room, so opening the window to let out the hot air. Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you? He's going to be so, glued to the pot. What kind of guy do you? American food ain't sitting well with him. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes. There's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a uh, heart attack. Yeah, it, it's... And then there's also, you know, some, some countries where you just don't drink the water. Like, um, Mexico. Montezuma's Revenge and, uh... You can't even brush your teeth with it. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. Yeah. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. With the Phantom Thieves gaining popularity, having those people just die. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Damn it! This isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left! Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I think. And that's it. That's what this trip is missing. Babes. We totally got to get moving during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once in a lifetime summer memory. Hawaii's famous for its beaches. And, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. That's supposed to be Vegas, but okay. We can get some girls' numbers during the day and sneak away to them at night. <laughs> you in or what? Me too? It'll be great! Neither of us have girlfriends who'd get mad about it either. I guess it's true, but... Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Ooh, you get a message? But who could that... Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you-know-what. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? The Commodo. Give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. And... Yeah, you can always do that in your country. We're in Hawaii after all. I can finally take a break from my job too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to take a walk with me? Heard that Shujin's here in Hawaii, so I want to say hi. My school is giving us some free time to do as we please. Care to walk on the beach? It might help with new moves. What was that message earlier? Was it from Futaba? Wait, don't tell me. Was it a girl? Come on. You gotta make memories with us instead. We bombed it on that beach in Japan. Oh. Here we go.
We'll see if other people are paying attention. Now you're all right. You you'll of course get to pick if uh, nobody else answers. But if we got some people lurking in chat, you don't have to say anything. Just feel free to vote in the poll. Ah, you're not paying attention. We started up a poll. Oh, okay. You don't know what South American country you're in? Okay. Chile, Bolivia, and Bulgaria. I can imagine. Not entirely true. Brazil actually speaks Portuguese. So it's not Brazil. You can you can cross that one off. Almost. That probably crosses out Bolivia as well. Isn't Bolivia like right next to Brazil? And it's like a Brazil right light. Like a lot of the stuff that's going on in Brazil also is going on in Bolivia. Or am I or am I wrong on that one? I could be wrong on that one. They do speak Spanish in Bolivia? Okay. I wasn't sure. Peru. Could be Paraguay. It was Spain. Oh, that sucks. Oof. Geo guess there might be from far enough back that you know. They, the European Union hadn't fully formed yet. But yeah, that sucks. Have a blue thing on its left? Okay.
All right, it's been about halfway. We still only have one vote, so we're going to go ahead and go with the vote in chat. Let's do it. Really? Thank you. Should I wear a swimsuit? Yeah. Well, see you later. Sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Wait, mean me for me. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. Let's enjoy ourselves then. That sounds lovely. All right then, let's take a walk. Oh, a food stand, garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. And Gilroy is one of the garlic capitals of the U.S. Are you adventurous when it comes to food? Yeah, sometimes. That's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. Well, let's give it a try. You two from Japan? Uh... Yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. <laughs> How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello and ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, of course. I'll do just that. It was a heaping pile of extra shrimp. That's amazing. We gazed out of the ocean while we enjoyed the delicate flavors of a foreign country. How beautiful. Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. I don't think she would be upset if you were on a trip in this laid back. That's the whole point of the trip is to be laid back to tell you the truth i wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip but if it's like this i think i'd like to come again chaperone is next year too you know i'm graduating this year um i'd like you to have this the tiki keychain it's a small wooden keychain. It's dignified, yet warm expression is reminiscent of Makoto. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. I love it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. We're fine like this. I suppose I can't complain about that. Asked in the stunning Hawaiian sunset, just me and Makoto. Ryuji's gonna be complaining up a storm when we finally get back, by the way. <sighs> it was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? It was terrible for him, too. But wasn't he the one who invited me in the first place? He struck out. <sighs> I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different from me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well, anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Yeah. Sounds about right. Hey. It's so open for business. Get the cats upstairs. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming in anyways. Plus, if someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. Oh, it's Maruki! Hey! What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here. I'm oh no, sorry. please, there's no need. I'm sorry. Oh, wait a second, it's... I was told um, Singer Kun is lodging at a cafe and I just happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. I see, you teach at a school, huh? Not really, I'm just a counselor. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to share the sentiment, though. 
Hmm. The heck he's doing here? Dis is off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien... Le level stranger to me. Say, you talk with your cat? That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, did I frighten you? My apologies. I found it impressive is all. Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. <gasps> that book. Oh, this? It's on a subject called cognitive science. Any interest? <sighs> what? You're... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? I, I'm so sorry if there was anything I... The cafe is now closed. You'll ha I'll have to ask you to... Sojuro. I'm okay. He stays. What good is driving your few customers away going to do anyhow? Futaba. Uh -huh. So that book, is it what you teach us, uh, sir? I mean, mister? Hmm. Oh, well... <laughs> I'm No, not at all. I'm not a teacher. What's it for, then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful diversion of, division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom? Her mother studied it, too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make some sense, being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, my mom owned. She loved me so much. <sighs> Past tense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right, Come on, Mona, let's, let's go. go. Off to the menless room. Hey, wait! Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. Huh. Thanks. Man, things sure are changing around here. Okay, now I should be able to interact with Maruki cool again. Is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. Barely even felt like I was out of the country though. Even Yusuke showed up. <laughs> I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. Ooh. So, what did you end up doing yesterday? You keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code. Not telling. What? That sounds pretty damn suspicious to me. I'm not gonna keep prying though. Last thing I need is your secret lover coming after me with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? That's a great Ooh, idea. Count me in. That's a great I idea. Need to join you as well, although I. Have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? The the tickets would have been bought in advance, so he can go and come back. He just wouldn't have been able to have done anything. What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine. If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Look! They have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Acai? Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I gotta revive a drin wa waiting. <laughs> We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. And 
not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. An egg timer. Uh, why? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. That's it true. brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Oh crap, we're almost out of time. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. I feel like someone's staring at me from behind. Hello? Senpai! Aloha! <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. Aloha! By the way, you do this, you'll be flagged as a tourist by the locals. It's solid. Aloha. Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl. Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Our club is here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? Yep. You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill ya makes you stronger. It's kill ya. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that, too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're great. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. There you go. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Good luck, Charm. I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. Oh. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. There you go. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Better hurry. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later. All right? Yep. And away we go. I'm serious. That's why there was no need for you to have angered our director right now. But still, he would have eventually shut up if you just nodded. I guess you got a point. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kayokawa. Goodbye. Farewell. Amen. Gonna see him.
Bye, Principal Kayokawa. Yo, welcome back. You get tanned a bit? How is Hawaii? Aloha. <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. While well, you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. Hawaiianized. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try too? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Like Phantom Thief curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantomy effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? Oh, there he goes. Well, there he is, the anti thief detective. Hi, little one. I hope he slips up and self destructs. <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say anymore. He's Come trying. On, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. All right. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Want to meet now? Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Okay. We're into Monday. Stamp, isn't it awesome? Okay. We'll just push through this loading screen. <sighs> Got a minute? He looks sleepy. Attention all ye jet lagged. Someone from Shujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I do know. It sounds just like this to me. Oh, that's right. Maruki did stop by. Was his name Maruki? I think so. Dr. Maruki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too? You don't think he's connected with the incident with Futaba's mother? Oh no. I didn't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two got talking then. A little. He seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is, is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, he's cool. Wait, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by an utter stranger. Truth, man. Still, I'm curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual reticence. I do know. We just talk normally. But he's such a good listener, right? Maybe he ended up talking more than usual. It, so it's true. He does have some extraordinary effect. Surely you must have some greater insight. The better to espy the innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit, this dude has ESP? SP, to see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What, me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there's something here I must confirm myself. Well, can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks. I'm looking forward to finally meeting him. Ha! The hibiscus, truly a flower of singular beauty. The vivid color and compliments the water too, right? Too bad to... Ryuji had to ruin the shot. Get real, a guy can't wear a flower in their hair, it's weird. I do know the guy next to you wears it like a champ. Oh, one more to share. <laughs> Yusuke wearing a tiki mask. Heck is that? It's intense. Not my style, though. If you're gonna be that rude about it, I'm not lending it to you. Wait, you actually bought that thing? Yes, for sketching purposes. You're kidding. 
Did you seriously have the cash for that? Well, I showed them how much money I had. They lowered the price. Truly a land of generosity. Wow, that's like a max level haggling maneuver. For real, man, I wish I'd gotten a price cut. It was nothing of the sort. I simply expressed my passion to him. Language barriers are surprisingly easy to break through, as long as you can convey your feelings. Okay, I can go out and around. Let's talk some other time. You should go to sleep for tonight. You look exhausted. Nice. Looks healthy for now. Hey. You look drowsy. What if you hurt yourself? You should just stop for today. I'll just add this. Okay, so that's... That's that. Principal Kayokawa is dead. <sighs> Never mind, you should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. Even if I were to say don't sleep and then go back. Hey sis. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. <laughs> he suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Principal Kobayakawa committed Kobayakawa. suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible! How are you so certain? W well, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. No calling card? The victim committed suicide. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. She's Look trying to win. Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? <sighs> this is bad. I better tell the others. <sighs> First time at school in a while. So sleepy. You over your jet lag? Not yet. Well, same here. Never mind about that, though. Did you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to town. Pay attention to who we're going to target next. Ain't that a piece? I'm getting real psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Good morning. And Sakamoto Senpai, correct? Uh, morning. You're back today, too, huh? Good to see you both. Um, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip and hear all your stories from Hawaii. You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes! Yes, that sounds great! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ryuji. So, who's stepping up to be principal with Kobayakawa dead? This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide moon was for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? They don't kill, though. The Phantom Thieves? 
Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. That would be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. And that's a problem. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And <sighs> here we go. Start of Palace Five. This starts our storyline. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> If the whole point of the Phantom Thieves is to get you to confess your crimes, why would we make you commit suicide right outside the police station when you were obviously going to confess your crimes? It goes entirely against the MO. But I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. That's right. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. We're getting there. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And yeah. if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Okay, so the story's been summarized. We went on, we helped to Futaba start to acclimate to society. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Yeah. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So, so far. far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? Like, we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart. Maybe this never would have happened. So, On's going with the theory that it was... It was a ricochet shot. Okay. We... In the game of pool, you are not allowed to hit your opponent's ball with the cue ball. You cannot touch a ball that you are not capable of sinking. Like, if you're solids... You can only shoot at solids. You can only touch solids. You touch a stripe and it's a table scratch. Your opponent gets to place the cue ball anywhere and make the shot how they wish. So what she's saying is we weren't intending to kill Kabayakawa, but because we sank Kamashida, it caused Kabayakawa to commit suicide. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died. Covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on Yeah, assuming side. you're playing by the by the actual rules of the game. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. Right. This Most people, they serious. ignore that rule because it's hard enough to sink balls as is. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's terrible. 
Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods, or prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. Exactly. It's here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. It would be like somebody caused the CEO of McDonald's to step down, and so it caused just enough turmoil that Big Bang Burger suddenly got to expand into the American market. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He has a palace for sure. That settles it, then. He's totally our next target. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings, after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah. Yeah. The excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? We are not the people's executioners. Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh, some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this, even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. You little... Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was, she more, was useful more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. Oof. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. Calm down. Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it! human. I have to be. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. He certainly gained a lot of levels I since just then. just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Huh? That kitty? I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. 
My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Doesn't get much clearer than his daughter being a member, well, but... it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. Making an you assumption. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, sai -san. He's about to get a face full of that aggression. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society. I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. Ignoring protocol to reform society. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Oh, shut up, Raiji. Not Raiji. A catchy. I really messed up. Shall we dispose of it? Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Lol. Is this really impossible alone? How horrible! What? I, I can't see. Who's there? Esther? And there we have it. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Should we look for him? I want to, but maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in this bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possibly got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who'd go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I mean, he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Oh well. Have a good day. There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. I think the thieves killed him. You think the thieves murdered him? Why? Think about Kamashita's victims. The principal's just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. One of my books without asking me, The Okumura Way, and it was even signed. With his logical management skills, he revived his company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. Then he started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. Okumura's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could she sell that to a secondhand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key, wouldn't you agree? A secondhand shop is mostly meant for the sale of goods and supporting charitable causes, but what does a pawn shop offer that a secondhand shop doesn't? Money loans for collateral. Very good. Correct! Thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax write-off that way. It takes incredible business acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable at once. Yeah, pawn shop's primary form of business is they can loan you money and keep the item as collateral. You keep your pawn ticket and you have a certain amount of time before it goes on sale. 
you can still buy it back if it goes on sale. But they will guarantee it doesn't go on sale for a certain amount of time, so you have the time to buy back your item. There are rumors President Okuma, Okumaro may be getting into politics. It's, it is true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways. I'd love to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Okay. Yay, let's wait together in case Morgana comes home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. He should just hurry and come back. He'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Is this is that Okumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think Boma charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not have seemed like it sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be. Let's go to Akumura's palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. Morgana went into Akumura's palace. Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. Alright, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget everyone. left Prince in the dust. I'm worried about Morgana. Let's do it. Let's save. We're about to get the last member of the team. Sleep. Apparently the windows of their office got busted. Yeah. Uh, she is technically the last. I do not know if Kasumi formally joins the Phantom Thieves, but if we go with what happened in the prologue, she specifically says she's not a Phantom Thief, so she has no right to interfere in their business. So she is a Metaverse user, but she's not considered part of the team as of the palace after Okumura's. So if she does end up becoming a full-fledged member, I don't know. I can't stop watching news about the Phantom Thieves. Hilarious. Why don't you put a request into the Phantom Thieves? Boss is Impossible. just the worst. All he does is dump overtime on me while he dashes off right at five. I wish the Phantom Thieves would work their magic on him. What would it be like if they changed his heart? Well, they say you become the opposite of how you normally are, so I guess you become more open-minded, communicate better, and start taking initiative. He'd basically be as awesome as the president of Kumara Foods. Please, Phantom Thief, please make this happen. Holy crap, this place is huge. 
huge. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? Well, now soon enough. I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. You All said right. you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? Um, not necessarily. It deals with the creation of the universe. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. It's a Is space station. Ready? I'm activating it now. considered threats president okumura must be on guard what with everything that's been in the news that bastard it's just causing more trouble for us whoa it's as though we're in a film i wish i brought my sketchbook all right hey I'll just add this. Saving. Oh, this is literally the entrance. Make sure there's nothing hiding in the corners here. Yeah, no, this is it. Hey. Let's see here, looks like a lever for the elevator to me. And should be working now. For real, you're amazing. <laughs> that was nothing. Certainly reassuring having you with us. Anyway, let's try using the elevator. Hmm. Back this real quick. that noise what is that robots there are tons of them they all have the big bang burger logo they're saying something you must adhere to your shifts if you don't like it you can quit however you will not be compensated what are they talking about being disposed of it happened these robots are part of okumura's cognition correct that means they represent don't tell me this is pure hey. speculation one second my door has been pushed up you go nowhere little one This is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. So he thinks they're his robots? Yep. If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Calm down, Ryuji. Mona is our main objective here. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. Let's search further in. Damn it. <sighs> Find him bass. I can feel it. Okay, we got 
got a warp wheel. Huh? What? The chest. Locked down. What does it mean by that? Authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed past this oh, point. This, is... this security system might be a bit of a problem. The hell's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. We've hit a blockade quite early. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. No. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Halt, vigilante! Oh. Who's that? <sighs> Those clothes. <gasps> Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? So... She's the reason for all those people going brain dead? It was a girl this whole time? <sighs> Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstanding. Mona. Mona! You're okay! Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. It's been a day. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this... This beauty thief! Beauty thief? Thank you, Makoto. Thank you. I can trust you. I'll have you know she's a Persona user, too. Here we go. My name is Beauty Thief! She really called herself that? <laughs> Any tension that was in the air has just gone out the window. <laughs> we will take the treasure! Ona already said that. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Yeah, tell them! You! What do you think it means? One who helps the weak. Yes, that's right. Enough with the idle chit chat. You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. You! <laughs> Me? Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. Oh, okay. Um, what was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. I don't know. Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. We will take the treasure. You've you've said that like. Three times already. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. <sighs> no point. It won't open. We're... Don't underestimate us. Behind you! Here they come. <laughs> Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Yeah, that's a lot to be taken on all at once. Oh, hey. Bet you're tired. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Ugh, damn it! Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door. That 
door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. So how'd she get it to open? I wonder who that girl could be. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? Mona has well, no reason to... Like Mona has no reason to lie about that point. Did Mona betray us? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think he's betrayed us. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us. Such as exposing our identities. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. Uh, for real? Where at? At school, I think? Wait, what? But now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on, after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Let's check them all tomorrow. If okay. we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura Foods, then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. There you go. There's an idea. We are gonna take them down. Things are really starting to heat up. People are going on and on about bashing Akumura foods. Apparently they've been secretly using low quality ingredient brought in from overseas. Furthermore, any employees who were suspicious of Akumura were let go without reason. That coupled with the mysterious death of a rival company CEO. What's this all of a sudden? Things are going up in flames. I don't really get what kicked it off though. People have been coming after us too. They think we should just hurry up and punish him. That's irresponsible. They're just acting like spectators or something. It wasn't like that just a few days ago though. Could there perhaps have been a whistleblower from within? Come on, we got even more reason to take Okumura down now. Can we really accept all this information as truth though? By the way, we need to do something about Morgana. Yep. Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Kumara's at the top. What, the CEO of Big Bang? Why? Apparently they're really shitty to their employees. They never pay overtime yet work people hard enough that one actually died. I also heard that a pissed off former employee is the one who trashed their corporate entrance. There's a lot of terrible rumors about them, including that they strung arm their competitors. Just ate yesterday. I never really thought about how they make so much food for so cheap. I hope nothing weird's mixed in. Would somebody, would someone normally call themselves Beauty Thief? I bet Morgana made her say it. Ugh, it's still a weird thing to say even if you told her to. Plus, they liked about her being able to use a persona. We don't know if that's indeed a lie, though. But we didn't see her use one. No matter how you slice it, she's totally just an amateur. Don't let your guard down. I don't think we gotta worry about that, dude. We can't take her lightly. She has Morgana on her side, remember? I agree with Futaba. At the very least, they're one step ahead of us. An amateur would not have been able to have opened that gate. They clearly figured something out something we don't know. We need to uncover the identity of the girl. We found it! Oh! Man, this girl's hot! Ah, oh, but she's younger than me. Ryuji! No way! She's the same age as me? She looks like my dad's friend. Get back okay. to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. 
Even if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. They're all starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? I'm sure. Someone sure is confident. Okay, you were looking in the ocean? Hmm? I mean, Bermuda is in the ocean. It's up north by Florida, right? This girl! Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. Oh, okay, yeah. Also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. This may be worth looking into. But why was she at the palace? Gotcha. We could just make her spill the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. There we go. That looks heavy. Um, would you happen to be interested in gardening? Yeah, want some help? Really? In that case, if you could help me unload this. Boys sure are strong. Thank you. You're a second year, aren't you? That makes me just a tad older. Um, have we met somewhere before? Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Haru Okumura, correct? The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. Care to explain why you are inside your father's palace? Oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. He is so bright and sunshiny. When she gets angry, though. Oh, damn. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Let's not talk about that. So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various doubts about him. Things have grown quite serious lately. That's why I want to make amends. Even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. I found a lonely looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Yep. Mm -hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the metaverse. There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Okay. Fair enough. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh, I just want my father to atone for his crimes and help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we work. No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. Well then. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. I'm home, father. Drive them away. Protesters. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves. Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. 
Both the young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That is so robotic. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. They were thanking us for resolving requests we didn't actually complete. It's probably just a prank, but those requests are indeed resolved. Someone must be going into mementos other than us. I think it's Morgana. Agreed. He's probably taking the beauty thief with him, too. We should look into this. I was thinking of persuading Okumura-san at school, but she's been avoiding me. How are we going to look into this, then? We stake out mementos. Like a detective. I'm not sure how I feel about saying that. I mean, we're phantom thieves. The method is indeed a classic one, but it is a safe bet. Yeah, I think it's better than just looking for them randomly. I'm gonna have all sorts of snacks. No teachers to stop me on this field trip. Well, why don't we get this over with? Let's do it tomorrow. Yeah, you stake out Mementos because he's using Mementos to train Haru in how to be a phantom thief. I can't believe it! Isn't it a little strange that Okumura is the top boat on the set? I mean, there are tons of other companies that do the same thing. Maybe they're singling him out of all the praise he gets? Besides, there are a bunch of strange rumors starting to surface about his company. Oh, you mean like all the stuff happening to his competitors? Don't tell me you think that a cult BS is sure it's a coincidence. Go, Ellis, go! Keep the chain going! Hi, everyone! Come on, you're young. Hawaii doesn't even count as going to a foreign country. It's full of Japanese tourists. I bet you were able to speak Japanese wherever you went, weren't you? The shopkeepers will use Japanese to pressure you into buying things as if their life depended on it. I'm used to it, though, so I actually haggle with them in English. Mr. Singer, show me how much you know your English. Let's hear it. What's one of the supposed origins of the phrase, Cat Got Your Tongue? Wild cats who don't meow. So sorry. Not even close. An ancient Egypt said that the tons of liars and blasphemers were cut out and fed to cats. Maybe you were better off staying silent yourself, huh? There are exact actually a lot of other expressions involving cats. Okay. Cat has nine lives, for instance. It relates to how cats seem capable of surviving all kinds of dangers even when you'd expect to kill them. Morgana definitely burned a life there. Crazy how people want us to change the hearts of Okumura Food CEO. I mean, duh. He was doing tons of shady shit. Sounds like everyone's expecting us to actually take him down. Come on, we gotta do this. Game okay. game. Hell yeah. That aside, does anyone remember the plan for today? Yes, we're to hold the stake out of mementos. You think they're gonna show? We'll just have to wait until they do. For real? We can't go back until we make up with Morgana. I'm sure they'll come. I hope you're right. You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right? I know already. And why are you just saying that to me? Because you were the one writing Mona. We need to be wary of the beauty thief, too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We better be ready for the long haul. Hi there, doggo. 
Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. You guys are seriously slacking off way too much. Do you have business with us? Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended. But that would be my fault. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. Won't you please put what happened behind us? So I'm the one you're here for? You guys need me after all? Is that it? Yes. You're vital to our team. Really? Ryuji. Ryuji! We're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? He wants to apologize. Come on, Ryuji. Well, it's like... It was my bad, too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. Motherfucker! What a douche. On setup was completely ruined. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me then. Here we go. Come on, beauty thief. If you can't do this, don't count on me ever coming back. There they go. All right, time to chase him. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine, we'll do this. Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. We got no choice. All right. We need to go after him and talk things through. Peace up. Won't let myself get caught by someone like you. Yeah. You should give up easy. There are dead ends all over this floor. We can do it if we manage to corner our MM1. <laughs> How naive. You really think you captured me? <gasps> Look out. What would have you done if he ran us over? Hey. Stop complaining and let's get after him again. I'm thankful that we don't have any fights going on. Okay. Wonderful, we have reached him. Mona, will you listen? Shut up, I've got nothing to talk about with you guys. <laughs> Not again. No end did this right. He just crashed. Mona, you okay? You gotta hear us out, Morgana. There's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on, there's no need to keep being so stubborn. Yeah. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. What's that over there? Huh? <gasps> you son of a bitch. We just got look over there. Shoot. It seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. We fell for a what's that? Uh, those two. It'll never end at this rate. What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of his engine at all. Could they have left mementos? Her lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. 
Damn it! <sighs> Freaking Morgana! Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. You made me look everywhere for you. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? Argentina? Okay. I would never do such a thing. Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Can't you do that for me? Uh, Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! Ah! Uh, what the... Goddamn cat! Yeah. Mama-chan! Damn it. I am useless. Someone... Anyone... Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana! He is so getting it the next time we run into him. Um, buddy? Was that Mona's voice? Hey, over there! That doesn't seem right to me. Sorry about the disturbance. It's just a lover's quarrel with my fiance. Fiance? What? But she's clearly fighting you. That's why it's a lover's quarrel. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. I won't forget your faces. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Mona-chan... This is nothing. Was that person really your fiance? Not a bad streak. Oh, so you're engaged then? That didn't seem like an ordinary fight though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? I think it'd be useless. I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. <laughs> It seems she has her reasons. I'll, um, apologize about what happened earlier. So, would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Thanks. it was Kenya. Gotcha. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. And? This can't be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. <laughs> <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. No. No. You should stop lying. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here, don't you? <laughs> of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Except she hasn't forged her contract yet. Doing this because my father is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. The truth is... Don't want to get married, right? I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. I was such a fool, tied down by vague notions, and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. 
but I won't tolerate this anymore. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? That's... At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. But I wasn't making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Morgana... I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. Oh, you shut up. That's why... To me... This team is... Come on, say it. You can do it. My family. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. Thank God. That was refreshingly honest. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start. Jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. And? You better be sure about this. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? <laughs> Let's do it. Together. We're reforming our give-and-take deal. Morgana 8? Yes. Endure. Chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack with 1 HP remaining. Alright. Well, in the end, wouldn't you say that your encounter with us was destiny? That's right. Encounter. Hmm? Oh crap! The last train's coming up! I must go as well. Let's continue this another time. I... Stay at our place. I'll arrange it. See you all tomorrow. All right. I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. I think we all are. Man. This place is as drab as always. Can I talk? Game lights look good to sleep. Hey! I wonder if Hara's been able to fall asleep. It might not be easy for her to relax right now, but I hope this will at least help her cheer up a bit. <laughs> Watch out. Okay. Hmm. Sunday, do I finally get some free time? What's going on here? You brought over another girl? Don't let it worry you. Of course it worries me. I'm your guardian. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Oh, it wasn't a bother or anything. I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know. No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? I'll contact you again, so... Oh, right. Can we exchange contact info? Yep. Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. You belong here, don't you, Monachan? There we go. W well, yeah. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Excuse me? 
You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Father, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Christ almighty. That dude is just... Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? Yeah. So what are we going to do about Akumara? Nobody wants to go, wants to back out after we come this far, right? Of course not. It's highly likely he has some involvement in the mental shutdown cases. Yeah, we can't just let that slide. Plus, our fans are really hoping we'll go for it. Fans? But if we want to accomplish anything, we need Haru's help. Let's talk to her. Oh yeah, she said she wants to come chat at LeBlanc tonight. Chat? About what? Send it serious. Let's continue this at LeBlanc then. See you there, everyone. Haru? What could be wrong? I wonder why she wants to talk to us. I wonder if I get my daytime. Nope. Nope. That's horrible. It's that same fiance guy, right? You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. That means our deadline is the 10th. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. The mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course! I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From here on, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. Yep. You're suddenly lecturing us? <laughs> You're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid form at the moment. Yeah. Weak? She's hesitant. Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. No, this is the price we nah, pay. don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Yep. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course. We'll get them both. October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. 30 days half September, so we've got 12 days left in this, and then another 10, so we have 22 days. I want to get it done well before then and have myself a couple of weeks. I can't forgive them. Nice. Healthy for now. broken though so what are you gonna do let's fix this laptop mm. Akihabara okay so we have to fix it oh let's play a game 
Okay. Okay. Star Fornius. Almost looks like Star Fox. Make sure you aim carefully before you try and shoot it down. Looks like you're on track to beat it. Huh? Do you think... You can't hit the core without destroying them first. Ah! Uh. Oh! Gotta try again. <sighs> Alright. We'll try it again tomorrow. Yeah! Getting late. Let's head to sleep soon, okay? made by someone with ties to the bank's finance. Sounds like you might be involved in an organized try. How dangerous. Well, apparently even the police are having trouble catching him. He keeps changing his name and appearance to elude him. I guess he's finally basically the man of Andre faces. According to one particular post, he's currently going by Fumio Akitsu. I went ahead and made a warning post about it. Is that okay? Either way, I'm sure it'll be easy for oh. the sloth. start. Okay, let's do underground walkway. We're gonna try talking to the guy. We cleared the haziness in my head. In my clothes, I found some money and a bloody knife, and this is. Okay. He's the guy that's attacking, but I can't seem to get his name. Maybe if I talk to somebody around him? Phantom Wafers. Hey, we'll take a few of those. Especially if it cures a malady at the same time. There's Yusuke. Wow! Out of drinks. How do I pin this guy down? I'm pretty sure it's the hobo attacking people, but I can't get his name so I can do the request to fix it. Got a bottle. Get the bottle. Hey, 
go. We have a bottle. Okay. Let's go to Central Street. We'll buy some more books. What can I get you? Let's go talk to you, uh... It's a reprint model. I can't get some seat. I got a gun replica edition. I almost wish this... Practice my fast travel with it. Man, being patient is rough. <sighs> I barely use the PC because it'd be... I'd be in trouble if it got hacked. So you need something today? Yo. We got 136 grand from all that treasure. Come again. Okay, so next up, I need to find the fishing holes. See if I can buy a new That's book. Incredible. What would you like? Yeah. Akihabara. Let's go to Electric Town and then we'll try doing the Make Cafe. What would you like? Okay, that's not it. Oh, off to the right here. This is where I need to go. Hi there. PC tool set. I think I need like 10 more. Yeah, we'll buy that. Yeah, we'll buy them out of shit. That's the Weeaboo shop. Here it is. Hey, hey. Here's the May Cafe. Mm. Plain way. Welcome home. Clary, your clumsy My maid. Goodness. Yes. I'm so happy you came. This is your home, so please relax. Oopsie, I almost forgot to home for my first time visiting. Can get a special item for us. Okay. Absolutely. As you wish. Hey. All the pink hurts my eyes. Here I go. Sincerity Let's on your Amelie. See. What should I write? I messed up. That. I'm sorry, Mon. I was trying to write earth shattering. What did you say? Why did she pick that? I tried my best. Would you please forgive me? It's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's kindness. That's more charm. We've already maxed out our charm, so it doesn't matter there. Oh, sorry about that. We got the stamp card. Highly recommend you visit this. Then you get five, leaving you with Take five. Care. Okay, so I just need to get to twenty, so I get the special item off of the maid, and then that crosses that one off the list. 
So Saturday we gotta go to the May Cafe. For messing you so late, I truly apologize. So formal. She seems to be. I kind of feels like that formality is putting some distance. We're teammates, Saru. I'm the newest man. We don't really pay mind to those kinds of things. Furthermore, you're already one of us. Thank you, Mako-chan. Do you mean me? Sorry, I think my fingers typed that subconsciously. I'm just so glad to have found a friend my age. Not a problem. That personal touch is actually refreshing. Great. I hope we get to be the bestest of friends. Mako-chan. Jesus Christ, Reiji. Uh, sorry about that. I sort of got carried away. Get Sodra without Max kindness. I'm a chef what else I be? Crossroads would improve my kindness and earn me money and Oh honey. Oh. Okay. I'll do it. Thank you. Oh? Think I don't think I get to talk to anybody today. It's all you. Oh, honey. It's the boss you've been having problems with, Actually, right? Actually. Not anymore. I don't know what happened, but it's like he's a changed man. He suddenly said, I'm sorry for everything, then apologized and cheers to each one of us. He went from being the man who his subordinates hate most to becoming the perfect ideal Let boss. Me ask. You think the Phantom Thieves had something? I mean... Who knows, if they did help you, though, it would be... You have a lot to be grateful to them about. Hey, hey. Grateful. <laughs> They're starting to make me feel bashful. <laughs> We're gonna drink today. I'll order a bunch of food, too. You silly Huge man. Huge order coming through. We have a bunch of orders coming up. Nice work. Huh? Might not like you. should probably get home about now. See you. All right, you should be going home. You're still on range, and Shinjuku is dangerous at night. Yep. Hmm. Got it. Come on, kindness. Wanna head back? Part of me is thinking I should just start cleaning the store every night. All right. You know, it's like. I mean, having all of Kumara's enemies died in strange ways. Maybe he feeds them poison burgers. What a monster. I know. You know, I voted for him on the si fan site. The Phantom Thieves have a duty to punish bad people. I hope they take care of him soon. Keys up. Practice building. Let's do this. Welcome. It's already autumn. You expect to get less uh, hot. Yes. Thanks to you, my research has been going well. Really, you've been such a huge help. So, I'm gonna talk to you. Did you have time? Hmm. Maybe Rick wouldn't be so bad. Are you gonna help Maruki with this research? Yeah. Thank you. I was hoping you could talk at that cafe you're staying at. I'm a big fan of their Let's coffee. Head out now. I'll get dressed and we can get going. I'm sorry. You must have a real knack for coffee. This is fantastic. We've got curry, too. I'd love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain myself for now. You see. And together in a paper, I've been really progressing lately, thanks in no small part to you, but I feel like I've hit another wall. But I'd appreciate it help me talk through this. Yeah, thank you. You're really saving me here. In deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a means of helping those who have been hurt by trauma. I already told you that was the point of all my research, right? But it's thanks to you the project's come this far. 
<sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized the problem, one that may not have any solution. Even if my research makes great fights, even if we do find a miraculous way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Isn't that enough? True, I guess. Better than not being able to save anyone, but I just can't be satisfied with that. I mean, there are so many people out there suffering, they can't even speak up and let that pain out. It's kind of a painful, cruel, bitter world, and there's only so much one can do to fight against that. Only makes it more painfully obvious. I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. You know, Deep down, I, I don't think it's enough. I, I help people around me, a few people out of billions. I want to help more people overcome their suffering. In infinitely diverse ways. In turn, we have infinite methods in which we try to treat it. But like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately, but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. Even if we had a full understanding of the human heart and an effective treatment to soothe it, I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma, and I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So what can we do? I haven't been able to get the question out of my head, but I don't have any answers. I'm not used to that. If we could peer into the hearts of every person alive, diagnose, understand them, remove the root cause of their pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Ah, oh, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? I just think it'd be better if there was a way to really understand everyone's cognitions more quickly and accurately. Mementos. Everyone's palace. Then again, that'd be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capability. Did I say something wrong? All hearts share some things. Huh? Yes, there are common factors. No, wait. Oh. You're right! My god, you're right! That's it! The collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. Ah, it's so simple. Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right. And if I can combine this with the theory I'm verifying, I can tie it all back into cognitive science, too. Cognitive science? Uh -huh. huh? Yes, what about it? Oh, I didn't say earlier? The research I'm doing is on cognitive science. Ah, but I'm sorry, I need to go. I need to get this in my paper while it's still fresh in my head. I knew it would be worth bringing it to you. Thank you. I swear I'll repay you for this. Rank 6. Takuto Maruki. All right. All right. Then. All right. We need to get going. See ya. Oh, Singer Coon, sorry for uh, rushing out so suddenly. What's going on? Sorry, I ended up running to the station in sheer adrenaline. Didn't realize I was this out of shape, though. Anyhow, you helped me to come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake, too. Thank you. Bye. Okay, now we go to evening. Is it going to make me... Oh! Thank God. EY can go up. I can up Mishima. Rank 10, I get Salvation Wish. Okay. So I have to get to rank 10. Okay. We're going to push that. We are going to push that all the way. Because that's important. Alright, Mishima. There we go. Fan sight's blowing up! So, 
You did the request I asked you to? Thanks. Oh, singer Kuno, I was hoping we can talk to Doug. Okay, let's hang out. Let's talk at the diner then. I will probably so. Well, we can talk some more over there. <sighs> did you enjoy playing with that? Hey, calm down. <laughs> You're okay, Bubba. I know, she scared you. Beat up Akiyama kun Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and found some seriously scared. Apparently, they're part of a game that's involved in extortion like that all the time. I wish I had known going in. One slip of the tongue in that act I pulled, I would have been dead. You showed some real courage. Hmm? You really think so? But I pissed all over myself again while I was researching those guys. Honestly, though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through. Yo, Mishima. Hey. Hi there. Whoa, it really is Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else could be this boring. Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just... Not yet. How about the military? Nobody ever noticed the heroes. If you stealthing around? <laughs> Too true. I bet you could sneak anywhere, huh? You'd be Japan's ultimate weapon. Shut up. Akiyama's kun. Huh? Something wrong? Not exactly. Come on. Let's just forget him. It's no fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I do know. Guess I got tired of it. Hey, about before. I've been thinking, well, I should probably thank you. Huh? Something happened with you two? You know, you have been acting weird lately. Don't think I haven't noticed all them bruises you got. I... No, no. Um, before? I don't really know what you're talking about. Mishima. My bad. Guess it was someone else. You've changed, though. Hmm? Huh? Yo, Glasses, I always see you two together. You've been coaching him? Something like that. Heh, <laughs> that's so? I'm kind of jealous. Anyway, see you later. Wait up, Akiyama. <laughs> Looks like Akiyama-kun's gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong-willed guy. And I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the All Phantom right. Thieves? I'm gonna work harder now to make sure I live up to your legacy. That is how you be a Phantom Thief supporter. All right. Okay. Um. You know, I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything, but I somehow managed to step up and help Akiyama with those thugs. Made me realize there really are things I can do to save people. That's why I've started writing a documentary. The research I did on that gang was wrapped up in was actually what pushed me to do it, and now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities on the fan site. Don't use our real names. No. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming up with aliases for all of you. You guys, if you guys have code names you use, those should work too. All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Screw the fountain drinks. Let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. So three, it's three times the price, so it's got to be three times better. What about a parfait instead? But I only have so much money. If you want to order anything else, it'll have to come out of your own pocket, okay? Anyway, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> Woo! See you later! What is up? You still rocking into the night, singer chan Oh, sorry. I don't know the right thing to say after coming home from a party. <laughs> That's so fun, right? I never stayed up late at a diner before. You think the power of that fancy fruit juice? I mean, it did cost three times. Okay, I'll stop joking around. I'm really happy to hear that one comment from Akiyama Kurt. Hear what he said about me, but do you really think some part of me's changed? The sparkle in your eyes. Wait, really? You mean I actually look confident now? Gosh, man, you're gonna make me blush, but thank you. Documentary I mentioned, starting today, I'm gonna start writing it seriously. And once it's finished, I want you to be the first one to read the script. It's our promise, a vow between men, okay? See ya. Vice Principal. So, the play that this Chech Playwright wrote, 
are you going to think? Okay. Is an important work of history and literature for being the first use of the word I'm robot. Make them have a change of heart. These correct correlations should go back up. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Okumura and the Phantom Thieves. You were listening at least, right? Answer this robot question. comes from a word in Czech. Well, where in Europe is the Czech Republic? It's East... It's... The Czech Republic is in Central Europe? Yeah. This is it. Way to go! The Czech Republic is in the center of Europe. The word robot comes from the Czech word robota. Robota actually means slave labor. Okay. Nice going. More like a K. More just like a. Okay. Catch Republic. Catch Republic. But existing only for slave labor, even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue that we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in order to live. Okay. More like a K, like a Kez Republic. Hey. Okay, Maruki's not there. Futaba, I could. We do need to go in there. Czech Republic. Czech. Czech Republic. Czech. Czech Republic. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna save. I'll just add this. Okay. We're gonna save. We're gonna be going into Haru's pal. We're gonna be going into Okumura's palace right after I go to the bathroom and take the dogs. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We did it. <laughs> Victory. Got it. Okay, got out. Come on.
Why are you trying to kill me? I'm starting to get the feeling you don't like me, Praxis. I'm starting to get the feeling you don't Come on, girl. Out. Come on, come on. You can leave. All right, we're back. I thought you guys would appreciate seeing what the dogs get when they go potty in the backyard. That one's when they when they go number one and two to encourage them to do that outside. Patrick's a bit, shall we say, ex eccentric when it comes to that. He hates doing it in the cold. So any encouragement I can give him to do it outside is. All right. Um. As much as I want to do that, we need to. We need to do. We need to start this. Oh, hey, Yusuke. Oh, perfect timing. Huh? What do you mean? I've been working on a way to incorporate beauty into our fights instead of merely doing away with our enemies each time. And only a moment ago, I was struck with a bolt of inspiration. Ah, is that right? So, what did you mean by perfect timing, then? Ah, yes. So my potential idea is good and all, but I'll require your help to pull it off. Would you please lend me a hand? Sure, but, uh, nothing too weird, all right? Have no fear. Okay. Ooh, that totally sounds like something you'd come up with, Yusuke. Of course, if you have no interest, you're in no way obligated to help. No, no, it sounds awesome. Oh, but what if we tried doing this beforehand? Oh, we should definitely incorporate that into the attack. 
I never would have come up with that part on my own. Collaboration. Oh, I can't wait. Actually, I want to try it right now as well. I truly hope the star will grant us this. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Do you have a minute? We didn't have any problems last time until the authentication device. Let's head there first. Okay, let's get to work. Come on, Joker. Do you need something? Okay. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. Oh. It requires the cooperation of phantom thieves undergoing the same ordeal in other worlds. It's a special fusion called public execution. This is a helpful ritual where you select a persona from another phantom thieves group and fuse them for your own usage. We've oh, heard nice. that there are special powers for personas that are only attainable with this fusion method. Okay. Basically, whether or not you make good use of it is up to you. You better devote yourself, inmate. Okay. The development of rituals is now complete, but your rehabilitation shall continue Okay, onward. so this is the last ritual, is what they're Put saying. Put best effort forth toward that ultimate goal. Okay. How fair is your... Okay, let's register. Justine, you handle this. The inmate needs our guidance. You wish to perform an execution. Well, how's this gonna go? Let's do this one. Oh, I've already had this one, haven't I? Oh, the diamond is a uh, treasure demon. So they're giving up a treasure demon, and I'm going to get a naga out of it. There's Decorabia. but not impressive. What was it? It was Decorabia with something, if I remember correctly. Gods have spoken. Cooge rating with a party of seven. Cooge sends his regards. Oh my. Welcome in, everybody. 